What's up, guys? Today is Monday. That means it's Cornwell Monday. We're on Mr. Joe's truck. You guys come take a look. This old man in the country that I know. No money in what he used to grow. No, he don't care what people think. When a farmer turns into a hippie, times are hard in Mississippi. How y'all doing today? First, we're going to get into, uh, we should say, thank you, Mr. Ken in Cincinnati. You know who you are. I never said I'm perfect, so I messed up a little bit, called him, had it all fixed, and he's like, don't worry, Joe. It happens all the time. No big deal, but I appreciate that. Now we're going to go into something really old. This here, you see the size, is 930 seconds to a half. Quickway Spark Plug Company, Bethville, Pennsylvania. My customer's pappy bought this, and they traced it back to 100 years ago. Now, he has the whole set. These are the other pieces. And they knew back then, if you put the ball detent in, the socket would stay in place. You could reach it in deep and not have it fall out anywhere. Or you have more leverage. I also came with a T-bar and all this folds up in here now they checked several times on the internet nobody's ever had a whole complete set he does so we're going to thank Mr. Don Corinth you know who you are nobody's stealing them everybody respects these are yours explain to him about the corner still being perfect and the oh, latch yes, still yes. works now you want to talk about American Ingenuity made way back then you can see the latch how it would lock down on here that's still 100% intact. All the corners, every one of these, are still 100%. Now that's American quality made from way back with American steel. Even all the writing and ink on there. So I'm not letting anybody touch this. I'm keeping it all nice and safe, tucked away, protected. Nobody can see, touch, <laughs> or get at them. That is awesome. Awesome. We got a couple little... Uh, Blue Power Cornwell wrenches here for Mr. Clay. A couple small ones. Little beady ones. Let's show you what else I We got. were going to get into these here. Mm -hmm. Now these are our Cornwell speed wrenches. What they do is they have this cutout. What it is, it's a spline drive but it's cut short so when you're wrenching a tight area behind stuff you don't have to take it all the way off the nut to go and try to re-grab around. What it does is it'll like ratchet back, it'll clip and it'll, it'll turn it for you. Now it's a metric set that's a 8 millimeter to a 19 on sale 300 bucks. Show that spline drive. Show them what you explain explaining to okay. about the Okay, Now the spline, the spline drive works on 6.12 square spline torques. If somebody takes a hex head and they round it off 50%, a spline drive will still grab it, break it free. So some guy had a lot of time on a CAD machine or he had something good to help him think about stuff, but he designed that way back and it's been, it's taken over ever since. There you go. This is what I have been waiting for Mr. Joe to get in. We have the Monster, a little two set. The ratchet flexes, it's fine tooth, reversible. It's push button locking so you don't drop something where you don't want to. These two are also cut with the spline drive. You got the adapter for your bits. You got an extension for driving sockets, quarter inch. These are normally $50. You, you see them on this show here. It's 40 bucks. 40 bucks. That's a bargain too, guys. And it does metric and standard on the same socket. Yes. Okay. And I mean, goes from a 9 or 11 30 seconds up to a 14 or a 9 16. So 
that gets you covered. That's a nice box. Easy to keep. We're one time going to talk about some of these here. Mm, that makes me simple that little, makes me, simple like little test light. Out. Simple little test light. They're only twenty bucks. Can't beat that. And they they don't pull apart when you pull on them. Mm. So, I was expecting to see that thing come out of there. It's a TE twenty seven thousand. Twenty bucks. That's a bargain. Twenty bucks. You can't buy nothing for twenty um, bucks. Especially a test light you can't pull the lead out of. <laughs> we, I think that's what we got covered for today. Again, thanking Mr. Ken and Mr. Don and everybody else, all the comments, everything. Need something? Call me or text me on the, on my phone. That's probably the easiest way to get to me. But uh, just let me know what I can do for you. Thumbs up, guys. Thank you very much, Mr. Joe. Like always, guys, if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. And subscribe right down here below. We'll catch you guys next time. Y'all have a great one.